Welcome back. Today we're flying out the MiG-21 BIS at top tier. New effects, new missiles, new everything. Game looks sick. And I'm actually kind of enjoying top tier because of this. There's only one problem with the MiG-21 BIS. And that's that the teams are so incredibly strong right now. And that it's very hard to get like decent matches. It's all of these kind of these one-sided steamrolls. Especially on the Russian side. I have a 91% win rate. And trust me, it's not because I'm the one carrying. I got uh, two games here that I did kind of carry, but this is not the norm. I have a lot of 1-0 kill games, and that's just how it is. Everyone has R60s, your whole team consists out of MiG-21s, MiG-21 bases, MiG-21 SMTs, and essentially this thing is the same as the SMT, except you will have flares and a much stronger engine. And of course the double pylons on the R60. Which I tend to use. I do run the 6x R60. And depending on your loadout or depending on your playstyle, you can also run the 4x R60 paired with the 2x R3R. You can also use the R13Ms, but I don't recommend it. The R3Rs, however, you can lock in the head on. And if people are within 4 kilometers, when you shoot it off, they don't have RWR, they are going to be hit by it. Very hard to dodge at these high speeds. And they can catch people off guard because most people do run the R60s, but that will depend on your playstyle. I, I tend to stay on the deck. I don't like going high in this thing because, well, sparrows, magics, and all those kind of missiles. I don't think they're fun to fight at altitude, so I'd rather keep it on the deck where dodging missiles is a little bit easier. Do keep in mind though, this thing guzzles fuel and you will run out quite frequently. At least I do. You probably have to run. Without an afterburner, more than I do, but without an afterburner, it's not even supersonic. So, you know, you do have to kind of measure your trade-offs and see what you want to do. And with all of that out of the way, here is the game. At the start of this game, I was complaining that I couldn't really get footage because the teams were too strong. And here we are. My team is dead. I have one teammate alive and there is well, there's one crash now. Oh man, this game keeps interrupting me. There's basically one guy alive. After that guy that dies over there. And he's on the runway. So I'm alone in the area here. With four other enemies. I want to missile the F4E first. If I take him out, I can carry this game. He flies straight and eats the missile. Well, of course, I would have gone for the F4E regardless. Because he was the easiest kill here. Then I go for the Hunter F6. He's going straight away from me. I can get an easy missile lock in. And I don't want to deal with SRAMs, because well, we all know currently how it is with the Harrier spam. I just don't want to deal with that. Especially SRAMs when you have an afterburner, because they can almost shoot you in a head-on. And I don't want to deal with that. So, that's one Hunter out of the game. G91 YS and a Hunter F6 left. So, what do I want to do here? I want to kill the Hunter as fast as I can. Because I can deal with the G91 on my own. But I do have to keep in mind that this fuel will tick down extremely rapid. And it kind of caught me off guard here. And I, I did like... Sort of down right now i try to shoot camera flips the moment i start shooting I, I knew it was coming and i still miss because of it i'm preemptively flaring here if he tries to ashram me then he will probably lock onto a flare and the ashram will go ballistic aka it won't track me and i can easily fly away and now i'm easily out of range of the ashrams because i'm going supersonic again and he's just not He's just not keeping up with this. Neither of these planes are, but the G91 YS is kind of frustrating to fight. Because of course he is so damn maneuverable. And the trust the G91 YS has, even though it's it has afterburners, and even though it's fairly hot, I can't really do an all aspect lock, well not all aspect, I can't really lock him from above. Like when I'm right above him, I nose down on him, I can't really lock him. Because his afterburners aren't that hot, at least in this game. I don't know how it is in real life. But in this game, that's how it is. Hunter is pitching up for me. So, I break off the, the climb. I go horizontal as he keeps climbing. And then I go back down. Hunter is very slow right now. So I missile him and I continue on to the YS. And moments like this, I should probably turn my afterburner off. And just glide it towards my friendly. Because at this point, I'm just burning so much fuel that I don't need to. But, you know, hindsight is 20 20 and at this very point, I probably would have done it again. This G91YS is extremely slow at this point. I'm coming in going Mach 1.15. So I should have all the room in the world to kill this guy. And I'm starting on my R60, waiting for the lock. And the sun picks over the lock. 
unfortunate, isn't it? I then try to get the gun in, and I have the worst aim of the century. Uh, this gun is quite tedious to use. It's on the bottom of the fuselage, you can see it right there, right behind the cockpit. And the guns aren't very fast either. Luckily you do get the 50 extra rounds in this thing. I haven't really had to use them a lot yet. But it's nice nonetheless. These guns are kind of tedious to use. But that's also because of the plane. It's just kind of... It's a wheel. It's a top tier jet. And the velocity that comes with it. As well as the awkward placement. That's kind of low and far back. It's kind of annoying to use. And G91 is turning away from me. And now he's turning back in. He's probably trying to bait my R60s out, which is a smart thing to do. And if this was an F4E or anything else with a big afterburner, I could have locked him there. But I couldn't. So we go into the horizontal. I bleed quite a bit of speed doing this maneuver. And with that, I'm trying to cut into him. I drop my flaps like 10 kph too fast and it rips off. And that's actually going to cost me very dearly. I'm now on the G91. I see that he still has his afterburners on. And it's just not tracking. See, G91 YSs are kind of annoying the R60. That was a bad launch maybe, yes. But I still have three R60s left. And I need this guy dead. He's one of the last guys. And I'm on a 6. And if I had my flaps right here, I could have cut into him. And I would have been able to cut him down. Problem is, I don't have those flaps. And I'm going to continue trying to flat turn him for a little bit. Hoping he will maybe invert his turn. Maybe do something. Because I am dead on the 6. All he has to do is slip up for a little bit. Maybe pass out, maybe as a bad pilot, maybe something, and I can kill him. But he doesn't. He keeps this turn up. And if he keeps this up, he's slowly gaining on me. And of course, if I do this long enough, I will actually run out of fuel. So, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm waiting to turn away from the runway. Because I don't want to lure him into base AA. And I straighten out and get away from him. And at this point, I only have 3 minutes of fuel left. And that's not 3 minutes with his afterburner on. So, I pick up some speed. We're going about 800 right now. Turn the afterburner back off. And I'm just going to extend. Just going to get some separation in. Because if I turn around right now. I will be going relatively slow. Cut that part out. Because I tapped out. And I still uh, showed my other screen. And at this point. I figure. I'm not going to win this if I run away. I need to dogfight him right now. And that's what I will do. I'm going to use the speed bleed this thing has. To cut inside of his turn and try to gun him down. Dodge the head on because I don't want to have to do anything with those 30 mils with that roll rate and that very easy pull. So I get above him. Just managed to miss. I'm gonna get one more shot here and can tell looking at my fuel, I'm not doing too well. So if I miss this shot, I am basically dead. And I shouldn't have ripped those flaps off at the start. Will I hit it? He's way to slow the dodge and I shoot his tail out. And that's game. Five seconds of fuel left. And I'm gonna opt to use the missile in case he doesn't crash. Or maybe he turns around or whatever he does. And he bails out. And that's game. GG. Nice fight on the YS. Unfortunately for you, the SMT is kind of strong. And you did kind of get up to it. Second game. Get an F3 on my ass. I'm way faster than him. But I'm just scouting the area here to see if there's not another guy around. Because I don't want to dogfight a guy and then get picked off by... Phantom number 20, because the whole team basically consists out of Phantoms. But I can't really say a lot about that, considering my whole team consists out of SMTs, Bisses, and MFs. F3 coming in. I will easily out dogfight this guy, but he can keep his speed up and fly away from me. However, he doesn't think that's a good idea, and he goes straight up when I'm on a 6. Not the best idea when you're in a Phantom, but if my missile hadn't hit you right there, you would have died regardless. Set him on fire. Keep looking around because I do want to make sure that I don't get cut off. And he's kind of stalling out. And I, I see that he's pulling into me. So I'm like, oh no, please don't. I could already feel the missile coming in. I go up. Make sure that he can't pull into it. F4C coming in in the background. He's burning up right now. He's basically dead. Or well, he is dead. So I dive out. Try to pick up some speed. Make myself a harder shot for that F4C. I don't want to dive away from him. I might be able to outrun him, but I'm not going to bet on it. And I just don't want that guy on my 6. I'd rather go head on. Go below him. If he tries to push uh, the head on here, then he might slam it into the ground. We're all alone here. So I just opt to turn into this guy so he doesn't end up on my 6. And he rams it into the ground. So he basically did what the original plan was. 
but just with extra snaps. F104 coming in, King of Goblins in its F104S, and he played it quite well. He almost cost me the game, multiple times. F4C coming in, he's chasing someone else, managed to underlead that shot, and he's on his merry way. F3 on my 6, I don't want to turn right now because I will be going like perpendicular to him and he will just missile me because I will have lost so much speed that I become a very easy kill. If Masaya, the guy on my left, turned away to the left here, I could have easily helped him, but he just decides to fly straight next to me. F3 sees me way too late, pulls in last second, he didn't have that shot in the slightest and he just pulled into my guns and that's kill number 2. So who do I want to kill right now? It kind of depends. F104 over here is really... He really likes killing me. Or tries to kill me. So I do want to keep an eye on him. He's extremely fast. That's the only plane that can keep up with this thing. I do outrun it. I do out accelerate it. But you know. The F104S is very very fast. And you do want to keep in mind that that thing will catch you. And it has a lot better retention. So if he gets on your 6. You can try to reverse it. But he will be so much faster. That it's very easy for him to boom and zoom you. Missile the F4C and another fire. I love the look of these fires, so I don't mind. Nice explosion, and that's fireball number three actually. This game, and now we're just kind of scouting the area. And I shoot till my afterburner off. Thank you for listening. I actually did. And they have four people left at this point, and I really want to know where they are. Because you know, I don't want to get jumped by someone with a missile. Everyone is on that F104, so I'm kind of ignoring him. And as a hunter, again, SRAM spam, I don't want to deal with that, so I want him dead right now. I go under him, I'm going very fast, no way he's going to pull into that, and if he tries, he will slam it into the ground as well. He didn't, smart choice. And we're on our merry way. F104 coming back in, clearly going for me. Keep in mind that the Vulcan has an insane range, so you do want to dodge in time. And not last second, because he might start shooting at 2 kilometers. And if his game aim is good, maybe he just gets lucky, then you just blow up. Going for the hunter, he's extremely slow at this point. Shoot a missile at him. Missile just kind of well, just misses. Probably turned enough to where the heat signature disappeared for the missile. Try to get the guns on the F6. He sees me last second. I try to pull in, hit an oil leak. I go under him and I try to extend away from this guy as well as from the other guy coming from the airfield. I have to dodge that missile. The hunter is flying away from me. Try to get the shot in. Underlead a little bit. I shoot over his wingtip. And we just extend away again and get our speed up. And again we're on 4 minutes of fuel. And that's just how it is in this thing. You really have to be more careful than I am with my fuel conservation. Because you will just run out. And especially in this carry situation, it's very annoying. But I had so many good themes that I had to do nothing in. That I just opted on burning all the way through. Getting as many kills as fast as I could. Because I my team would just disintegrate. And I'm not going to fly from the start of the game hoping I have to carry. Because then 9 out of 10 games, I'm not doing anything. And I don't enjoy that. Hunter is extremely slow at this point. I don't want to deal with him. Please shot his engine out. Crit him once more. And he's going to go right into the ground. On the 6 of the F104, but I only have 2 minutes of fuel left. And that's just not nearly enough to run this guy down. The F104S is extremely fast. He has been playing his speed right this whole game. So the chances of me catching him are slim to none. I do have an F4 on my 6 as well. The teammate is all the way back on the runway. And now I'm kind of in a very tight spot. F104 coming back in. He's going to end up on my 6 if I go right under him. But I'm just trying to get back to my airfield so that my teammate can help me. Unfortunately so. He's putting on the pressure on just right. So I can't do that. He doesn't have missiles however. So going a little bit slow isn't that much of a problem. Make sure to dodge both of them. Hoping the F-104 dogfights me here. He doesn't. And the moment I get a lock in. He's going to go vertical. Making it so that I can pull with him. I probably could have if I had more fuel. But I don't. So F-104 is slow. He's clearly not running an afterburner. He probably is very low on fuel as well, because these, these two planes burn the same amount of fuel, roughly. I do burn a little bit more, but roughly speaking, they're about equal. And then that comes to J35. And at this point, yeah, it's basically GG. I have 20 seconds of fuel left, I'm on the other side of the map, and my teammate is only just now taking off. 
So what do I do? Well, I have 10 seconds of fuel left. I'm not gonna get away from these guys. So I might as well just turn back in. And do some damage. And hope that my last teammate can actually clutch it up. Go ahead, Almighty J35. Pull in. Get hit. Very lucky here. Try to snipe him. Go ahead, Almighty F on the 4. No fuel after this point. See him shoot. Dodge that burst. And then just full commit him. Get a crit. And he one shots me. I instantly put my fire out. Because, well, I don't have any fuel left. And we just go straight into the ground. Last teammate left. Four R6s on the racks. Last guy in that team is an F104 with one minute of fuel and no gear left. He's severely crit. He's going to clean him up. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't record it, but he did kind of clutch this game in the end. So him being alive in the end was what won us the game. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all very soon again with a Harrier video. And have a nice day.